Hello everyone, welcome to Doggy Rampa Part 4. This is not going to be nearly as long as the other ones, so... Because I didn't realize how long each part would take, so... I'm gonna do, like, probably 40 minute intervals and that's it. Saika's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose all of the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay. No need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted, delighted smiling faces is thanks enough for, for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. I didn't even have time to mourn Saika and Jingo's deaths. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream. But I have to accept the reality of it all. I head back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me! You sure took your sweet time. I was just about to go get you and drag you back here. S sorry hmm. Hmm. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up like he said? <laughs> I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Hey, come on! Jesus, that's effed up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay inside his room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. Plus, I decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Makoto. Um. Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't gonna help anything, alright? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it! So everyone just try and cheer up and get back on track. <laughs> Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? <laughs> we were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because Saika made the first move. Well... B but if we work together against the Mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Stop talking. Keep telling yourself that I'll be over here in the real world. Working together, fighting a common enemy. Like it or not, it's not that simple. Um... What do you mean? 
Are you okay with this? The mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, and modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a risk. So then... Then what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. No. What? No what? I... I can't take it. I don't want to live if it means killing someone else to do it. If it means killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Hmm? Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. But... So, um... If we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead. That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. She's right. If you keep that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Jira, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Saika. The Mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we'd refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the Mastermind. Announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, and one other thing. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you, even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Yeah. W what was that just now? <sighs> was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel. Don't fuck with me! That piece of shit. Who does he think he is? And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates. Saika, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he caught then he called us all to the gym. What's he gonna do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and 
down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. <sighs> ah, doesn't this feel just great being stuck inside like this? You gotta make sure to stay healthy. <laughs> You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff, that's my motto. Yeah Whoa, I sound pretty cool just now, don't you think? <laughs> oh, you're worth dying something, alright. So? So why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. <laughs> Just to make you exercise. Just to make you exercise. Hey! If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fit. What? <laughs> Passed down from generation to generation, the Empire of Darkness. The, the, oh my gosh, hmm? really? That sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter, just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then? Hmm... Uh, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? A whole new world. You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. Very nice. So go ahead, look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. <laughs> With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he'd shown up. But... A new world. Could it be... Is he talking about... A way to get outside? I wonder about that. That seems unlikely. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know until we look. Hey! Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me?! Okay, then let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. <laughs> you're basically a one-trick pony, you know that? Got it! More like a staple food source, now let's get moving. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. <laughs> What the heck? Hey Makoto, did you see what's inside the display case? Bad. This is super bad, man.
What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that weird in there. Hmm. Sure, it's the only train dying with nothing, but this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. We're serious. That stuff you see lined up there? Any god could come by and use it to send a message. Uh, 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 I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. Let me out of here! Let, let me out of here. Let me out. I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. Oh, whoops. Right. I forgot. This takes me right back here. Oh. Yo. I went and checked the metal hatch in the main hall. Just to be sure, but... Dude, shit. Just like I figured. It hasn't moved an inch. Shit. Yeah, I'd be surprised if he made things that easy for us. Hey, damn it! Hey! What? Don't make that face. Wow. You look like a pussy. You want me to put some fighting spirit in ya? Well, do ya? N no thanks. I think I've got enough right for now. Yo! Well, okay. I'm gonna go look for another way out there. Now I take back what I said about you. You are literally the worst. Should look around the school first. I need to find out what Monokuma meant by a whole new world. Hmm. It's a classic trial door. Okay. So I can't explore any of those rooms. Maybe I can this? Nope. Hmm. Got it! Makoto, look. The gate blocking the stairs is gone. It would seem a path to the second floor is You hear me? But it's also of utmost importance to double check the areas we already know about just in case. Without a doubt! Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impress myself sometimes. You understand? Well, I'll leave the school to you. Okay, if that gate's open, maybe the gate over here is open too. I should look around the school first and find it. Maybe it's not open. Hmm. Okay. The gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Is this what Monokuma meant by a, a new world? If so, what's up there? This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. This is the girl's bathroom. If I ever took one step in there, I'd become a total creep in everyone's eyes. That'd be it for me. Yeah. Maybe there's something here. This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. I don't see anything useful in there. Hmm. So this is a classroom. Oh, hey, Sakura. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but on the second floor, too. The windows here have those same metal plates covering them. Okay. A surveillance camera? They're watching every single move we make? I know it's pointless, but I can't stop looking at the clock. Even if the time was wrong, I wouldn't have any way of knowing. I really don't like that. That's another one. Okay. Another and 
Sakura. So one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Right now it's just showing the school crest. If I break it, Monokuma might come and punish me. I see. This must be what he meant by a new world. Huh. I should probably take a really close look around. Okay. It's classroom 2A. And another gate. The gate's blocking my way, so there's still another floor, which means not everything is opened up yet. looks pretty old and it's all covered in dust so it's broken I tried pressing the power button earlier but nothing happened it's broken huh too bad I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world if it's broken there's nothing I can really do about it how long am I going to be stuck here being watched by all these cameras Starving for information from the outside world, if only there was a TV that worked. The shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. Looks like the library has been uh, neglected for a pretty long time. Even though it's a prestigious high school, they've been pretty careless about keeping it nice. of the shelves are okay. Oh, because this one had a coin, that one didn't. The shelf is packed tight with books. Okay. And that one has okay. There's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk. It looks like this library's been neglected for a pretty long time. As nice as the school itself is, whoever's in charge of upkeep has been pretty lazy. Strange. Wow. Shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. What's this? Hope's Peak Academy? Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Uh oh, okay. I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there. From the Hope Speak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take an on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope's Peak Academy must not lower the curtain on its glorious history from the time being. For the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? Hmm. Hmm. The contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem... 
It would seem Hope's Peak had stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago? <laughs> Most likely, the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this low performance. But, but that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up online about the school and never saw anything about this. So in other words, that must have all been part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute some... Some, someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Hm. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However... If it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason that there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. Hm. That would be a nice, simple solution. It's true. But then, what about this other part? This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. <clears throat> what did they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? Now, if... if... The two events are in fact connected, uncovering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out who the mas uh, figuring out the mastermind's motive. <coughs> Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. Hm. So in other words, only the Mastermind knows the truth right now. The Mastermind's motive... If we can figure out why they would want to imprison us all here, will that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Whew. It's remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. <laughs> I'm absolutely shocked. How come? Damnation! They have all these books here and not one copy of any of my work. Oh my gosh. <sighs> well, yeah, why would they have comics in a library? <laughs> <coughs> Okay, wow. Ow. <laughs> you just don't get it. Not at all. <laughs> I, I do too get it. And with a face like yours, not anyone can tell nothing you do is worthwhile. Wow. <laughs> Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. You know nothing! What you see before you is nothing more than the mind that contains the meaty pulp of my genius. Here we go! My creations are what determine my meaning and value. <laughs> you're, you're so full of it. <laughs> oh, good lord. I... Those two really worry me. Yeah. Hmm. But still, this library is most interesting. Huh? What's interesting about it? Stop talking. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. No. 
I was actually trying to talk to Toko, even though I really hate her so far. You must be pretty happy to have all these books around you, huh, Toko? N not particularly. Nothing's really caught my attention so far. Mm-hmm. Indeed, there's a plethora of books, it's true, but the content seems lacking. You know nothing! Oh my god, really? Hmm. I'm seeing what you write, Miss Fukawa. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. Wow! What the heck? <laughs> Okay, you know what? <laughs> She's vulgar and he's just straight up outright ruthless towards her genre of writing. Damn. My stories are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to that garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Someone should just burn it all. Holy <laughs> shit. Ooh, the lady doth protest too much. Methinks I bet you're secretly into boy. Oh, come on. <laughs> boy on boy, I don't care if you're the anime or the comics or fanfic or whatever. Uh, I'm telling you. It's all you. filth, throwaway culture that'll be trashed and forgotten in half a decade. Yeah. Ugh, just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> you've insulted me and you've insulted my honor. These two are really starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> oh man, that, that was amazing. I... <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. What we got left? 2B. There we go. Well. Same thing again. Or ma maybe we're not allowed to break them, but what about blocking them so they can't see anything? Nope, still not brave enough to try it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, punished, I get that. Okay, so I th think that's everything, actually. On this floor, so far. Yep, that's all there is on this floor. I think. Oh, no. Cool. I didn't even see that. Whoops. Almost missed that. Just a second! Oh, Makoto, hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool. There's a pool here. A pool. Pool. Oh my gosh. Yes. Pool. I get it. You. You don't have to keep repeating it. I got it. Okay. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura is gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. Do I even need a task? <laughs> Why that's pointed? At the girls' locker room. <laughs> oh wait, it could be pointed at Bolt. Oh, I see, because it's yeah, I get it now. This is one of the monitors. Here's on will just smash the thing, but who knows what happened to me if I did? There are a bunch of different pool-related items on the shelf. Oh, sweet. Looks like one of those lifesaver flotation. Oh my god. Oh. A surveillance camera. Even here we're being watched. <laughs> the second floor has opened up. The living area has grown, and a number of facilities are now available. 
whatever else is going on, I must admit these things... I must admit things have been made much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. Oh my, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. Is that a real gun? It's not like we're at war here. Why would we need something like that here? Okay, so I can't. There are no items up here. Hey, Jahira, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um... No. I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you do seem like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. But... But still, it sounds like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd kind of... I'd kind of like to get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But I'm... I'm not even brave enough to step foot into the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go in the locker room? Um... It's not that I don't want to, it's just... I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia, though. Okay. The locker rooms connect to a pool. It looks like... It looks super nice and big, and, fata and fantastic to swim in. Ugh, I'm beyond excited right now. I can't wait to dive in. In fact, I'm getting kind of mad thinking about it. Why are, you, why are you getting mad? Behind this door is the locker room. Yeah! Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Of course! Really, really? Oh. What? Hmm. If you want to unlock your, the locker room, You'll have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card reader next to the door. Uh -huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room. And the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. But... But what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? <gasps> Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished! Without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. See, there's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? Yahoo! And it'll all be... Okay. <laughs> Just a second! I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. Um... Um, no. I think it'd be a little worse than that. Hmm. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook, and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? <laughs> what? That never even occurred to me. To think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Hmm? Hmm. Okay then, how's this sound? I got it! Time for a new rule. As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. <laughs> there. So now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% cotton. Oh my. Honestly. I do not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. So, um... But you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! It's because all you teenagers are six grades. <laughs> You're at that age, you to be classy. Oh god. <laughs> Holy crap. So to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous walk. <laughs> then in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man and some woman decide to share a room, then there would be nothing to stop them. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. We're really going this route? Okay. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. Oh 
holy image. Oh god. Disgusting. I don't care what happens to your private dorms by force or by cunning. Do whatever you want. <laughs> you're questioning the locker rooms. Just the worst. I hate you so much. <laughs> yeah, I can agree with that. See ya later! Okay, so the new regulation is now in place. See ya. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. You got it! Celeste, you hear you wanna come with me? As for me... There's nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Really? Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'll pass this time. <laughs> How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea of what's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I'd better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. Well, that was... definitely cheerful. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how'd it go? Did anyone discover any interesting new anything? Did anyone discover any interesting new anything? Good. Okay. Wow. Ishimaru. Yes, indeed. There's a library. Okay. And a pool. A freaking pool and locker rooms filled with exercise equipment. Well, there was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. I see. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. Quiet down and listen! The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. You hear me? The warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much it's insane. <laughs> so go ahead and stuff yourself to the gills whenever you feel like. Ha ha ha. Are you okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, and what about an effing way out of here? You find anything like that? <laughs> Oh, well, what? um, there, what? there wasn't anything in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here. Nothing? Uh, unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. Hey, come on. You fucking people. What? Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now or a warehouse or whatever the fuck? Stop fucking around. We're still trapped in this piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. <laughs> Now, now, there is no point in taking your anger out on us. Adap adaptation is the key, yes? For now, we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of... Whatever you say, you... Wow! <clears throat> For now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you should discover something. Jeez! I kind of feel bad, Ishimaru. He actually did something worthwhile. You did nothing, Mondo. Sh you shut the hell up. So then. So are we done for today? Y yeah. W well, yeah, I guess so. Poor Ishimaru. There seemed to suddenly grow heavy again. Was this the mastermind's plan? To give us hope just to turn around and betray that hope? Man, I feel bad for Ishimaru. Holy shit. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Well, we all promised not to leave our rooms during nighttime. There's not much else to do. I guess I'll just go to bed. Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I, I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. 
and my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay, not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college where I make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy-paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? Hmm. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Oh, that's right. I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated. Huh? New regulations have been added, so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before! He must be referring to yesterday, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. But right now I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. Well. Is everyone at breakfast already? Ow, there's no one here. Jeez, I must have woke up late. Yep, I... <laughs> hey, Makoto. Morning, Makoto. Good morning, is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo! Nope, still waiting on Byakuwa and Taka. Byakuwa is no surprise, but strange Taka's not here yet. <laughs> Knowing Taka, I imagine he is trying to get the king of tardiness up and out of bed. Hmm. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see... I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem. Which is, I am thirsty. Hey, come on! How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> hey, Fumi, would you make me some tea? Huh? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well. Wh why me? Let's see. Your roundest figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh, um... Uh, okay... Apparently unable to refuse the last order, Hifumi shulked his way into the kitchen. A few minutes later... <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Hifumi reappeared with tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> <laughs> Finally! <laughs> you could have made some for the rest of us, you know. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. I emphatically decline, you're not my type at all. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. Oh, that is great. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the law of casual uh causality, basic instinct, act and react. <laughs> <laughs> Well then, if you don't mind, a small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Oh! Wait. She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. Uh, what? What the? Hey, what are you doing? My little white rabbit. <sighs> I hate this kind of tea. Um... um I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Imagine we are at a coffee shop, just any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. Then they, they then ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now further imagine that I replied, ah oh, yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <sighs> but this is not for me. I'm among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. The, fragrant, the fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet, that way, 
adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fire your is like dousing your fries and ketchup mere condiment. What? Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers a proper style of milk tea. <laughs> and I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we've just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Um, I went to all that trouble to make you that tea and you wanted me to go even farther? <sighs> yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but... <laughs> why even bother creating a menu if you are not going to offer the highest level of quality? Wow. Well, um, we don't actually have a menu. You little bitch! <laughs> <laughs> that does not matter. Hurry up and bring me what I asked for you. Swine, holy sh! Jeez, Lest. Say what? What? Yeah! Okay, your little piggy will bring it right out. <laughs> <laughs> I do so love coercion. What the hell? Huh? You're like a totally different person just now. <laughs> shit. Yeah, shit. You really went psycho there. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was more to her when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as my... I, I'd hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. The dining hall doors flew open, and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But, hmm. bad news, everyone. There is a mystery afoot. Huh? Huh? What happened? <clears throat> it would seem Biakio re refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I think maybe... I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that. He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It, it might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Listen to me! Uh, I was just about to suggest the same thing. What's your problem? S stop trying to one-up everyone. Um... Okay then, I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just gonna keep on hammering that button until I get a response. Well then. Very well then. The rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, um... Yeah, before it's, you know, too late. Anyway, we have to just do our best to find Biakua. So where might Biakua have gone? Maybe he went to go check out the second floor of the school again? Celeste, aren't you going to help look for Byakua? <laughs> I have not had my tea yet. Huh? As for me... Until my thirst is satisfied, I have no urge to do anything. <laughs> if you are in a hurry, feel free to motivate Hifumi to move faster. Uh, okay. But aren't you being kind of selfish? Well... Mm -hmm. Ah, Mr. Naegi, what's going on? Well, nobody's seen Byakua this morning, so we've all decided to go look for him. What? W what? That's not good at all. However... However, this little piggy needs to... I have a holy edict to deliver a proper milk tea to my master. What? <laughs> to bless this undeserving swine with such an honor, I will serve you with all my heart and soul. Oh, okay. Good luck with that. Ifumi's created some creepy alternate reality for himself. That's disturbing. Okay, I'm out. Hey, Toko, hanging out with Hina? Huh? What's your problem? What, you got a problem with that? No. <laughs> Something might have happened, right? Being alone right now might not be safe. So you got scared and decided to stay close to Hina. I guess everyone has a softer side. <laughs> as long as I'm with the sports idiot, if something d does happen, I'm sure she'd jump in without thinking and take the fall. Wow! 
You are literally the worst character here. Huh? What? what? Were you e eavesdropping? Awful. You're just awful. You get lost, you stray cat. You're the awful one. Honestly, Hina, you... Jeez. Hey, Hina, any luck? Mm. Nah, it's no use. I keep banging on this door and nothing. Come on already, open up. Careful, you're not gonna bust... Uh, you're gonna bust the door down, hitting it that hard. <laughs> Relax, this is nothing compared to what Sakura could do. Ah. Sakura's really awesome, you know? If she really wanted to, she could tear this door to shreds. I, I, I see. Well, she is the ultimate martial artist. She might actually be able to do it. Mm. Hmm. Been knocking long enough, but I think I can say for sure he's not here. I think you're right. Okay, I'm gonna go look around for him. Yeah! Okay, good luck. Jeez. Oh, right. I should check the map, see if it is here. Okay. Okay. I can't believe this. What are you doing in the bathroom, hero? Hmm. Huh? Oh, well. According to the spirits. I get sold to the spirits, and he had a bath emergency and couldn't make it to breakfast. Well. This guts forced him to spend all morning in the can. No way. But I was totally wrong. Swing and a miss. Three strikes. I'm out. Yeah, Biakua doesn't seem like the kind of guy who have problems like that. Okay. Be funny if that was the case. Oh yeah, I can check the warehouse. Aha! I see you came to search this area as well, Makoto. But you were one step too late. I've already finished my investigation, and there was no trace of Yaku. You hear me? An army marches on its stomach, as they say. In other words. So I thought maybe he would come here to have the, his fill. We must all eat. Eat until there's nothing left to eat. You understand? Anyway, now is no time to get discouraged. We must head elsewhere to continue our search. Y yeah, you're right. Surveillance camera. What should it get on my nerves if I leave it alone? So piled up. I get kind of excited looking at it all. Base ingredients to snacks and candy, it's everything anyone could ever want or need. Hmm. There was nothing in there. Yo. How's it going? You find him? No. Hey, come on. Shit, man, where the hell did he go? He's got his head stuck so far up his ass, who knows what's going on with him. I figured maybe he wasn't taking a bath. I figured maybe he was taking a bath or something. By the way. So what about you? You a morning bath kind of guy? Hell yeah. After spending all night right in your hog, winding wind in your face, there's nothing better than a morning dip. Hot water loosens you up, and the heat of your soul gets your heart and body pumping. Sure, sure thing, I'll have to take your word for all that. What? What, you don't what? know what I'm talking about? Wow! Hell yeah! Guys gotta expose themselves to each other. Oh god, that certainly is. <laughs> you know, come with me the next time, you'll see. Uh, I'll think about it. But I mean, it's not like you've been riding your hawk here in the school, right? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Using this massage chair would make me feel kind of old. I'm assuming that's the way out. Lockers. One of them is unlocked, but I don't see anything inside. I 
let's see. This is this bathtub is huge. What's this? Is it the heat source for the sauna? I see, so there's three rooms here. The locker, the bathtub, and the sauna. So no one was in here, we're good. It's like, I think I checked everything here. Oh, no, I didn't. I need to check and see if the staircase there is... Was that gate opened? No. Weird. Her. Just her and Shiro. Hey. So you thought to come here too, huh? Or, so you thought to come here too, huh? So. If you think about what Piyaku was so interested in yesterday, you could probably guess where he is right now, right? Huh? What was it Piyaku was interested in again? Obviously, I can't go in. Where's Hero? I see. Um. Oh, hey, Makoto. So, did you find the Uh, I'm sorry. N no, I didn't see him anywhere. I see. But somehow, Kyoko figured out where he might be. Huh? You know? Hugo's so amazing. She's so cool, she's smart, and she seems really tough. She's definitely smart, that's for sure, but... Tough? Compared to, say, Sakura or even Hina, she doesn't seem all that different from Shihiro. Is it weird to compare them like that? Oh. Uh... Okay. here. Guess in the library. When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, I cried out in sudden surprise. Biakua! Of all the things I'd imagined, this most definitely wasn't one of them. Hey, uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Yaku has snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. Yo! <coughs> Byakua, so this is where you've been hiding. <sighs> the heck are you doing here, man? Mm -hmm. We were very concerned. <laughs> well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. Well... What, what were you reading? 
a mystery novel. Well... Wait, so are you going to use what you're learning in there to betray us? Hmm. Don't be stupid. Yeah. <laughs> it's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, what? Naturally. If I decide to fight, of course, I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> it's not often you get to take part in such a high-stakes, high-tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. Mm-hmm. His words sent a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. It looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. Damn you! The f The fuck do you mean game? That's effed up. Hm. But it is a game. It's a game of life or death, which can have only one winner. That's all there is to it. <sighs> he is right. It's a zero-sum game. Huh? Are you okay with this? It is a part of a game. It is a part of game theory, a mathematical model. In game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero-sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. You mean, like, a kind of elimination match? Actually... Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something, which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. This also applies to the school life we have been subjected to here. In this case, is that okay? our limited resource is that only one of us can successfully become blackened. So in other words... So this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. That... that... that can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> this is why adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. The smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. <sighs> it sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose. Am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect from the Togami heir apparent. <sighs> it's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second! You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply is impossible. You son of a bitch! <laughs> what the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> you know? I still just can't believe it. What? Believe what? <laughs> that an uneducated, brain-dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. <laughs> piece of shit! <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you. Holy Don't make me repeat myself. Like I said, I won't die. <sighs> you keep saying that, but... <sighs> Do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate effluent prog progeny, after all. A boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny, and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life and death situation. <laughs> is that not so, Biakua? <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? It is because I am the same as you. Games are meant to be won. That's enough. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh. W well, I do apologize. <laughs> anyway, let me just say this to all of you. You all need to try harder if an opponent isn't going to give it their best. Where's the fun for me? N no. Th th that's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm? It's because... This isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know? To kill your own friend is... Is... 
so horrific. <laughs> friends? Who decided that? Huh? <laughs> We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. But, but... You know... What? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um... Come on. Yes, if you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Uh, I'm sorry. Poor Chiro. You ass face. Stop fucking around. Hey, shithead, you get off on bullying people that can't fight back. You want to try that on me? Hm. So you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Piece of shit! Fuck you. What? Is that all you can say? <laughs> it's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. You son of a bitch! That's it. You're... Just a second! Ho hold on, just calm down. Piece of shit! I am calm. <sighs> How is this calm? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is... Well, frankly, it's a waste of time, and I hate wasting my time. Waste of time? Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. And I'd rather not become a part of the Last Supper just yet. <sighs> Shit. Quit talking like you're in an effing movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that, ultimately, you are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, Byakuya left. There wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But... Was he serious about all that? <laughs> he was without a doubt. Don't fuck with me! Well, fuck him then. Maybe... But, but what he said, he, he might not necessarily be wrong. I mean, you can s say for sure someone won't poison our food. Or, I mean, can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? <clears throat> hey, come on. You too, Toko? Anyway... Well, it, it's not like anyone would care even if I was gone, right? <clears throat> Actually, I bet you all want me gone. You all think I'm dis disgusting. Yeah, I kinda do. None of us think that. You just think you don't think that. <sighs> I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just totally out there. <clears throat> you think I don't know, but I do. You want me gone. <clears throat> and I'm the sure the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? <sighs> hey, Toko, wait! <laughs> just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there's nothing you can say to bring her back. Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their rooms. Jeez, I'm tired already. But I don't have time... I don't have time to take even one day off. I need to get myself going. Alright. And with that, I think I'm going to end it there. So, thank you everyone... Oh my god, this is not even 40 minutes. Jeez. I didn't think it would take this long. Okay. I'm going to try to get it around that time period. Maybe story elements will take like around an hour or something like that, but when we get to free time, I'm going to do like 40 minute intervals or something like that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not... Yeah, because that, that was long. Alright, well anyways, thank you everyone so much for watching uh, Danganronpa uh, Trigger Happy Havoc Part 4. I'll see you all for part five, where we will uh, we'll be spending time with some characters. Um, geez, I I think the characters I'm gonna spend time with the most here so far. I'm actually thinking of hanging out with Ishimaru. I'm definitely gonna hang out with Shihiro because I think she definitely needs something at this moment. So, yeah, I, I think Ishimaru and them are the next ones to be 
on my list. And then after that, uh, probably, sh uh, I'll go back to hanging out with Kyoko. I might hang out with Mondo. I don't really, okay. He's not a bad guy. He's extremely vulgar, don't get me wrong. But I think his intentions are pure, sort of. So I might hang out with Mondo and I probably will hang out with uh, Shihiro. Ishimaru. I mean, he seems better now, I guess. Yeah, I think I'll just do Mondo and then Shihiro. If Ishimaru gets beat down even more, I'll definitely spend time with him. Uh, along with... And after that, I definitely want to get to know Kirigiri. As much as I can. Uh... I don't know if I ever really want to hang out with Celeste. I have a bunch of items for her, so maybe I could finish her arc here or whatever very quickly. Oh, I didn't even spend time with Junko. Shoot. Crap. Oh well. And I didn't really care for Leon that much. Other than the fact that, I mean, he mentioned he had a dream, but uh, I, I couldn't really care less. Maybe I might go back into the chapter and redo it again, and just... Something, I don't know. But yeah, I, I, I think definitely I'll spend time with Mondo and Shihiro, mostly. And then after those two are done, I'll probably spend time with Kirigiri again. Because I, I, I really like Kirigiri so far. Anyways, um... Yeah, thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you all for the free time part. Anyways, see you later guys. Bye.